So today we're going to do social learning theory of criminality. Now it's one of the first topics you probably do in criminal psychology and I'd say one of the most interesting ones too. Now by the end of this video I'm hoping you're going to have a really good understanding of all the key terms you need to know, the specs on the screen now and if you need any more help to do with anything GCSE psychology please check out the other videos or drop a comment if you have any questions. Otherwise let's find out what social learning theory is all about. So social learning theory says that criminals learn their behaviours through observation. And this is by far the most important word you have to use when you talk about social learning theory, observation. It says that all criminals have at some point observed other criminals committing that act and, well, they want a little bit of that action. The most important thing you have to remember with social learning theory is that there's loads of key terms that you must use in your answers. And these are the key terms that you need on the screen now. We're going to break each of them down one by one so by the end you'll be an absolute expert in social learning theory. So according to social learning theory, we go through a process of identification with role models. And these are people that we look up to. It might be someone that maybe we share some characteristics with and therefore we identify with them. Often it tends to be people like parents, peers and maybe even media figures. Now according to social learning theory, once we've identified with them, we decide that we want to be like them. Now the thing is, social learning theory says that actually we tend to imitate behaviours that we see have positive outcomes. So when we observe a behaviour being rewarded, we go through a process of vicarious reinforcement. Vicarious reinforcement simply means we observe someone being rewarded for their behaviour, so we want to do that behaviour as well. For example, if you know that your friend copied some stuff off the internet for their homework and then their teacher praised them for their work, then you may think that it might be okay to do that and you want to go ahead and do it yourself. That's vicarious reinforcement. Now let's say that next time you've got some homework, you feel like copying off the internet as well. Well, you may give that a go, you may get praised as well, and therefore that would be direct reinforcement, which is you being rewarded for something that you have done directly. Side note, please don't copy off the internet, teachers can usually tell. Now the final key term that we need to make sure we're using is internalization. This is when a behaviour is so well learned that it becomes a normal part of our behaviour, it's fully integrated. This is known as internalisation. At this point, the behaviour happens regardless of the consequences, whether they are good or bad. So in the example of copying homework, you may keep doing it even if you keep getting told off. So to give you a crime-based example, imagine your family member is someone who steals and they keep getting away with it. You see all that glorious loot and you think to yourself, I want a little bit of that. So you steal a little bit, you steal a chocolate bar from a shop, you get some direct reinforcement. This escalates to stealing something bigger from a shop and therefore that's more direct reinforcement. Eventually, you do it so often that it becomes internalised. It becomes a normal part of your behaviour and you genuinely believe that stealing is an okay thing to do, even though everyone else in society knows it isn't. And this explains why people become criminals. Social learning theory sounds great, but actually there are some main criticisms. For example, if criminal behaviour is imitated from others, where did it first originate from? There must have been a first criminal who had no one to observe. Also, it definitely seems to support the side of nurture rather than nature. It tends to ignore the fact that, well, maybe criminals have got something like a criminal gene instead. So if you want to test yourself, we've got a real past paper question on the screen now. Give us a go, pause it if you want to try it, otherwise the answers are going to come up on the screen now. And as you can see, even though it is just a word fill, it's worth a massive five marks and it relies on you knowing all those key terms. So make sure you get the knowledge of key terms down, Rewatch the video if you have to, and you'll be an expert in social learning theory in no time. Otherwise, if you want to test yourself in a bit more of a fun way, I've put a QR code on the screen for a blooker. Please scan it, give it a go and test yourself. Play some solo games and try and get a high score. Otherwise, all that's left for you to do is check out the other videos, like, subscribe and get yourself revising.